Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, we're going to be checking out the completed articulated bus, or as I like to call them, a slinky bus. So this build was started during a live stream. Now guys, as always, let me know down in the comments, were you there for the live build, and what did you think of it? Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a close look at this bus, all of the details that I have added to it. I have spent many, many hours trying to perfect this articulated bus and we also have an awesome tile here with all sorts of really cool roads and bridges and stuff so we're gonna be able to drive around we're gonna really be able to test the articulated portion of this bus and I also have some street lights over here and the reason why I added these was because I wanted to load in a night mod as well so we can drive around in the darkness and really get that city bus feel so let's get started Alright guys, now I am extremely happy with the way this bus turned out. Like I mentioned, I put in so many hours trying to get it all working properly. There's a lot to look at, so I figured we'll start with the outside, do a tour of that, and then we'll go inside, and then we're obviously going to get all of the working parts moving and showing off all of the details as well. Alright, so starting with a quick tour of the outside so we can kind of get a look at all of the details around this bus. Here is the articulated portion right here where we're going to get a closer look at that in detail very soon and going around here there is the back of the bus and then obviously this here is the other side of the bus now I said earlier guys I put so many hours into the detail work and that is because it's true I wanted this to look as good as possible so here we go we're gonna open up our doors now and we are going to hop inside of the bus now look at this guys I really I really feel like we are actually on a bus you know I was you know, using my mental capacity to try and imagine what it would have been like on the inside, and I feel like everything turned out really good. I went all out with the details here. You can see we've got ventilation fans, we have security cameras, and then all sorts of buttons around the seats to activate the chime to alert the bus driver that we need to get off. Now on the inside here, all of these benches have sitting blocks just like this, so you can grab a seat wherever you want to and sit comfortably and look at this I just love it guys look at this we're a mechanic on a bus now moving up to the front of the bus we have our driver's seat right here now obviously guys you stay on this side of the yellow line when you're riding as a passenger you know to respect the bus driver and here the bus driver's seat has an air ride suspension look at that guys so when you're taking the bumps and the potholes in the road you're gonna be nice and comfy no matter what and I also added a whole bunch of stuff right here in front of the seat so that way when you're sitting in the actual bus seat like this you have a really awesome first person view of everything and you can really see what you need to see now before we get moving I'm gonna go through all of these buttons and switches so you guys get an idea of what is going on here so if we press the one key look at that guys you can see that the bus actually kneels down now you might not be able to see it well in first person but if we press it there it goes we kneel down relatively low I mean I could go only so low but we're using pistons on all of these wheels instead of suspension mainly because the suspension was bouncing like crazy and also the pistons allow for that kneeling effect at the front here so we can do that and we can press the three key and look at this guys we have wheelchair accessibility right there just like so and we can easily retract that in now pressing 2 is going to close both of your doors there you can see the one in the back and the one right here they open and close together just like so and 5 is going to activate your designation of the bus now this is just using the scrap letters mod and they act as lighting as well so that way you can write whatever you want up here and hook it up to this switch and you can turn it on and turn it off just like so all right so I added one that's really really subtle guys if you press the 6 key look at this you can see right there we have a camera that is slowly just monitoring the entire bus just like that. And of course guys, if it does start raining, then you can turn on the wipers just like that and you can keep your visibility super clear. And then the final two buttons are going to be your blinker. So if we press and hold eight, look at that guys, we have our left blinkers to indicate that we're gonna be turning left. And then we also have on this side, our right turning blinkers as well. Alright, so it is definitely not raining out, so we're going to turn off those wipers, we're going to get them out of the way, and we're going to do a little bit of first person driving, just so you guys can see our little speedometer right there. So look at that guys, you can see the numbers going up, 
and that is showing us our speed that we're going in the bus and we also have a little analog display right underneath it there you can see look at that guys the meter goes up and down as we are cruising along now another really good thing about this bus is it is extremely good at taking hills now I got Khan to join my world and he gave me a little bit of tutoring when it came to the smart engine so now this bus does have a smart engine and the reason for that is because a regular engine you would actually have to have the power up so high that when you're driving along on flat land you're going way too fast in order to go up the hills but with the smart engine we could change the speed and the power ratio and we can find the sweet spot to be able to drive up a big hill but not get too much speed while we're on flat land so here we go look at this guys we are going right down the hill here oh man so this bus is loads of fun to drive in the first person as you can see we have all of our heads up buttons and switches there as well so that way everything is extremely accessible and everything is right in view but now I do see a stop over there guys so why don't we drive our way over in first person to our first stop and then we're gonna get out into the third person view and that way we'll be able to actually appreciate the view of the articulated portion of this bus now here we go we're gonna pull up right about here maybe a little bit closer all right there we go we are now at the bus stop we're going to open up the door and you know just in case we're gonna drop down the kneeling bus and bring out the wheelchair ramp just like so oh man I really do love the way that turned out all right there we go we are going to bring that up and in bring the kneeling back up and shut the door again now without a doubt I absolutely love driving this bus in first person but obviously we can't really see the articulated portion very well so now let's do a little bit of third person driving here we are cruising along no problem whatsoever guys and take a look here we are going to be turning sharply left just like so and take a look at that guys you can see the articulated portion of the bus has no issue whatsoever taking a nice wide turn just like that and it straightens right back out again now don't worry we're gonna take a closer look at what is going on with that articulated portion in a moment another reason why it's so good as well though is if we go up a hill just like this look at that guys the articulated portion reacts to the hill as well and then we come over the crest of the hill look at this guys you can see it is still reacting it's still changing the shape and it is doing exactly what it needs to do to allow us to drive no problem now I got to admit as well actually I love this tile that I made it's really versatile for driving around it has different turns it has the uphills and the downhills as well as this really cool bridge to really give you a good idea of what it's gonna be like to drive this in a world now this is one of my favorite portions here these big 90 degree turns look at that we have to kind of hug the edge there but look the bus articulates around it no problem whatsoever and here we are now going downhill all right just like so not too fast and look at that guys the bus articulates no problem whatsoever now you might be wondering how did I design this articulation well it's very simple and I'm gonna show you now the easiest way to show you guys is to just kind of turn our wheel and we're just gonna turn our bus as sharply as we can we usually reach the limit right about there so this is where our turning angle is at the highest now here you can see this is the point of the bus here where it is articulating now as you can see there is a little bit of a gap now I had some issues with designing this and having no problems whatsoever and the only problem that really arose was when I was going up those big hills here now these are pretty steep hills but when I was going up the hills I was having some issues with the uh, this mechanism right here pushing up against the front of the bus and it wasn't allowing uh, for the vertical movement of the articulation so it was losing contact with one of the wheel sets which was really killing the power having some issues there so in the end I had to kind of compromise for this one single block gap now I can run back into the seat here just like so and we can kind of open up that turn just a little bit just like so and we can take another step back here and it should be pretty much sealed off so there you go yeah so that's that one block difference and that's only if we are turning at max speed but now it's kind of difficult to show you guys exactly what I got going on here so I'm just gonna have to basically take out the paint tool now this is where it's kind of interesting we can press use on this so this here is suspension look at this guys if I 
take the paint away, you can see these are all modded block suspension pieces. Now on this side here though, they kind of look like more suspension, but these are actually pistons. And the thing in between is actually a uh, wedge block, a 1x2 wedge block that is connected to the piston, obviously so the piston works. Now, it's not really complicated, but what happens is we have a controller right here connected to all of our pistons. Now what goes on is we have a sensor up in this corner right here. So when we're turning left and right, obviously up here is going to get tighter of an angle. And on this side here, it's going to get wider if we're turning left. And the opposite is true if we are hanging our right turn. Now what happens is this sensor detects this front portion of the bus and it sends a signal crossed over to this side which extends these pistons out. Now, it all happens really quickly, but we're gonna try and see that. All right, so I'm gonna try and just do some zigzagging down the road, and you guys should be able to see the pistons in action. There they go, the pistons are contracting and extending continuously as we snake around this road. And the whole idea behind that was so that I could try and leave little gaps, like as little gap as possible anyway, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So all of this articulated stuff happens right here on this bearing right here. So we've got the one bearing, and this allows the front of the bus to pivot from side to side, and the back of the bus just follows it like a trailer. But we do have a second set of bearings, one right here, and another one here. And these are the bearings that allow for the uphill and downhill articulation. And just like the sides here, guys, we have up here a whole bunch of that suspension as well. So it really worked out perfectly because the suspension and the pistons don't have any collision. So basically these will just clip through each other as we're going up and down hills. Now at the back of the bus we do have a little spot here that we can open up for the smart engine. But you really can't do anything on the smart engine itself. It is all on the outside. So if we actually remove a good portion of this bumper. There you go guys, you can see this is our display for the smart engine. On the top row here, this is our speed. And on the bottom row, this is your power. Now I decided to leave these displays here with the adjustable buttons, just so that way if you load this into your own world, maybe you'll have different slopes and different steepnesses of hills. And then this way you can change your power and your speed and customize it to your own needs and your own world. All right, so I'm thinking we are going to go to this bus stop. Apparently guys, we only have one stop on this entire run. So it's really, really easy. But we're gonna drive up to this stop right here. We're gonna let any passengers out, let some passengers in as well maybe. And so what I'm gonna do now though is I'm going to load in the night mod just so we can get a really awesome nighttime city bus drive. All right, so not only is it currently nighttime, but it is also raining. So now we have an excuse to turn our wipers on. So let's hop into the bus here. Now check this out guys, you can see when the bus doors are open, all of the lighting activates in here. It makes it nice and bright. But now, if we go into the seat here and we close the doors, check this out, guys. Now, the bright lights have been completely turned off and we have these really nice ambient interior lights right here that gives the inside here just a nice, very subtle glow. So the night mod really allows us to appreciate the lighting in this game. So look at this guys, now we can turn on our front designation sign right there and it actually glows, it's really really nice and bright. So, now let's do a little bit of driving here, so let's see here. I did add these city lights just so we can get a really cool effect here, look at that guys, see how the lights pass over us? I find that to be very realistic and it really actually reminds me of being a kid driving in the back seat of a car or something and seeing those city lights constantly going by. Now obviously, that was the only little section I did right there and oh my goodness, I just realized guys, I did not turn the wipers on. So let's get those wipers going here. Uh oh, one of them is kind of stuck. Alright, there it goes. <laughs> and we are now going uphill as well. Okay, look at this guys. Now let's get out of the first person. I think it shouldn't be too dark. This is a relatively light dark night mod uh, there's uh, the rain obviously and stuff like that but I find you should be able to see pretty well uh, now I do love the dr I love the first person though I'm actually kind of addicted to driving this bus in the first person all right so we're just gonna kind of do this final little lap around of this city block right here we're gonna go down this hill 
Let's get some nighttime articulated bus action look at that, guys. Works like a charm every single time until your front bumper hits the front of the road. Now overall though guys, I gotta say this bus is probably one of my favorite creations that I've ever made now. I don't think I've spent this much time on detail work in a long time and I must admit it feels really good and it's extremely satisfying to see this bus completely finished and ready to go. All right, so one last door open right here. We're gonna kneel it down. We're gonna extend out our wheelchair ramp just like so right to the bus stop there and we can very easily slide right out of there. So guys, that is going to be the video for today. Now, if you did want to check out this articulated bus on the Steam Workshop, there's going to be a link down in the description. Make sure you go and have some fun with this build. Now, guys, if you did enjoy the video or the build, then let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to see some more endless scrap mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanic. So as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. So... Bye for now.